Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to our weekly sports recap show. This is our first episode with our new name, Polly Playbook. Today is Tuesday, January 21st. I'm Lisa Diaz, and let's get you right into this weekend's action. The Cal Poly men's basketball team is no longer undefeated in Big West Conference play after losing to Long Beach State in the final seconds at home Saturday. The Mustangs built an early lead up by as many as 10 points, but Long Beach State roared back with a 17-0 run in the first half. Near the end of the half, the Mustangs were down 32-26 before Jamal Johnson swished a three-pointer to end the period. With eight and a half minutes left in the game, Cal Poly was looking for a spark, but the 49ers defense stole the opportunity. With just 20 seconds to go and the Mustangs down four, Johnson found Chris Eversley behind the three-point line and nailed the triple to bring Cal Poly within one. But Jamal Johnson's missed the go-ahead shot with, as the clock expired. Uh, just making the next easy play. I mean, we had some costly turnovers and then uh, just our post defense and stuff. A lot of stuff, we just, a lot of stuff, or minor stuff we had to sweep. Nothing major. I mean, we played out, they, played, they, came, they came out and played a great game. So uh, just go back to the job board and get ready for practice on Monday. The Mustangs will head back on the road to take on Cal State Fullerton this Thursday. The Cal Poly women's basketball team is now 3-1 in the Big West after a 107-102 overtime win against Long Beach State on the road. The Mustangs outscored the 49ers in overtime 16-11. Cal Poly led 47-40 at the half and was about to close the game at 82-79 before Long Beach's Hallie Manessis made a three-pointer in the late second in the last second to send the game into overtime. Mustangs Ariana Elegato and Molly Schlemmer had a solid game with Elegato scoring 30 points and Schlemmer leading the team with 10 boards. The Mustangs will host Cal State Fullerton at home January 23rd at 7 p.m. Cal Poly swimmer Sonny Fierro is still months away from the Pac-12 finals, but he is preparing every day in practice like the competition is tomorrow. Sports reporter Denzel Quarterman catches up with Fierro to see where he is in his training. Cal Poly sophomore swimmer Sonny Fierro is putting some extra time in the pool this quarter. Last December, Fierro surpassed Matthew Wagner on Cal Poly's all-time record list in both men's 500-yard freestyle with a time of 4 minutes and 21.32 seconds and the men's 1650 with a time of 15 minutes and 6.23 seconds. It is crazy to think like how much training we do for how little amount of racing we have, but the thing that keeps me training is the, just the satisfaction of like being at the end of practice and knowing I gave it my all and just like knowing that what I did today is making me better as a swimmer. In order for Sonny to continue cutting time, he will have to spend this quarter training harder than he ever has. As a distance swimmer, Sonny has to put in more laps in the pool than most other sprinters. Head coach Tom Millich says that Fierro can make improvements depending on the quality of work he puts in in and out of the pool. You give them goals in practice on what you want them to achieve, how fast you want them to swim in practice. You know, if he can repeat this time, this many hundreds on a given interval, like he said, we put in a lot of yardage, that's a lot of aerobic-based stuff. Uh, milers have to swim a lot of yardage. And what does Sonny think about breaking his own records? Obviously never settle, never settle for anything less than your best. Denzel Quarterman, Mustang News. For a more in-depth look at Fierro and his story, visit mustangnews.net. Cal Poly junior Dominic Castle finished in second place in the Shorty Hitchcock Open at Millersville University on Sunday. Castle won his first three matches before losing to Zach Epperly of Virginia Tech in the 174-pound championship final. Castle ranked number 19 by Intermat and has a 12-3 record this year. Other competitors included Colton Schilling and Blake Castle. Schilling split his four matches and Blake Castle won three of five matches. Cal Poly's next meets will be on Friday at Wyoming and Sunday at Northern Colorado. Former Cal Poly linebacker Johnny Millard recovered a fumble and almost intercepted a pass in the East-West Shrine game. The West squad fumbled the ball on the second play of the game and Millard recovered the ball, which set up a 31-yard field goal for the East squad. Defensive statistics were not compiled for the game. The East defeated the West 23-13. The game was televised by NFL Network. Millard was the fifth former Mustang to be chosen for the East-West Shrine game, putting in him in company with Jordan Beck, Chris Gukong, and Kyle Shotwell. Thank you for watching our weekly edition of Mustang Sports. You can watch this show and get all of your 
Polly Playbook updates at mustangnews.net. You can also watch our weekly 30-minute broadcasts on Charter Channel 19, Campus Channel 2, and UHTV Channel 7. Have a great day, Cal Poly.